There we go. <laughs> okay, just moment we'll be ready to begin, but until that point, I'll just let you listen to the actual music in the game instead of music from the game on the pre-stream. Anyway. So if you have missed the other two, hello AD Lazarus Titan Deutsch. It's everybody. Um, if you missed it, there are two streams. One is technically four hours in length, incorrectly, and then one is it's only three hours, and then there's an hour of the stream is ended because I'm a moron. Um, but we play through the main story of Frostpunk. We're going to do the On the Edge DLC because it's technically the sequel to that. And then we will do the Last Autumn DLC after that. Um, so probably going to be streaming Frostpunk on Mondays. There has been enough interest. Uh, the replays are doing as better than I thought they were going to. Not that great, but better than I thought they were going to, so I've been having a lot of fun with it. And I enjoy playing this game a good deal. I've considered doing it in video form, but nah. Anyway. Uh, so the Great Storm exposed an army warehouse. So the Great Storm is what we survived at the very end of the main game. Again, you can go watch that when you want to, or if you're watching this on the replay, you can go back and watch the very end, which is at like 2 hours and 40-ish minutes or so. There's a huge storm. The temperature dips down to but numbingly cold, cold, and that exposes a, an army warehouse, and we are sent from that city, New London, to set up an outpost there. Times are changing, what will our new role, or our role be, in the coming thaw? Let's do it. I'll have the mic muted. I did this last time too. I'll have the mic muted once the actual cutscene begins because we have a starting cutscene. Um, also, hopefully we can finish this. I don't know that we'll finish it this stream, but I was trying to play it on my own right after it released, day one, and I kept encountering a bug that decidedly crashed the game. So we shall see if, uh, if that corrects itself. They say the snow is dead, but we've learned to the contrary. Snow is ever-changing, unstable, restless. We survived the great storm. It took away a lot from us. Still, it gave us something in return. Tempestuous winds brought relics of the past to light. Ones that can bring hope for the future. Our assignment was simple. Arrive at the site, build a reliable camp, and create a stable chain of supply. In return, we'd get food and necessities. A square deal. But, deals have this peculiar quality. Just like the snow. They tend to change. Ta-da! 
I'm having a I'm having a fairly good day. You know, you, you put together a, a plan of attack for a day, and then you go, I would like to get this, this, and this done. And then when the end of the day comes, and you've gotten other things done that weren't on your this, this, and this list, you go, Ugh. that's kind of how my day has gone. Have I gotten things done? Yes. Do I regret things that I've gotten done? No. Were they what I wanted? No. You're in the middle of a horrid match. How dare you? Hello, Molten. All right, so the Great Storm has uncovered an underground army warehouse from times before the evacuation. New London, which is the town that we played as, um, who I slowly went mad with power with, uh, sent us here to build an outpost and gather any resources we find. We must rely on New London for food. There are no animals to hunt here, and the ground is solid rock. Thankfully, the weather is fine for now, so we should survive without the generator until we have other ways of heating. How was your day, Lazarus? And everyone else, how was your day? This is kind of our land. Um, we cannot get down here. It's, it's, a, it's a relatively tiny area to work with. Um, so, we know what to do. Our first task is to clear the road to the warehouse and start gathering steel. And of course, let's not forget to set up some tents. The night is going to be cold without a generator. There's no, there's no generator. Titan's having a good day. Good stuff. So... We have a very limited amount of wood. We do have wood crates here. Um, let's get a gathering post here. And I'm thinking here. That's all of our wood. I frankly need wood badly. Coal is something I need eventually. Because I need to clear a, a road to this. Which means I need to get this out of the way. Uh, let's move 35. That should be good. So we're already familiar with how this game works. It's not particularly cold. We're only at negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Not particularly cold. Uh, let me just tell you, that's cold. not um let's get the road to that all right max that out that ought to get us some wood because this is all ruins I don't know what it is in celsius and we've already established that i cannot do that math in my head i know how to do it negative 20 but i just not good at it. Okay, now I have 15 people doing nothing, so I'm going to have them... I have 15. Let's get another gathering post. He... Here. Curses. Apparently, I'm going to build it there. Just make it of that. And have... You work on that. There we go. That's going to get us some supplies. It's going to explain some things to you, but let me explain it to you first. Um, we cannot write laws. We are governed by New London, and we are playing as the captain of this outpost, not the captain of New London, so the characters that we're actually playing as are different. Um, I'm also mildly concerned that people are going to freeze tonight. But we got enough wood that we should be able to. One, two. Tickle my shoe. Yeah, we'll get back to you. Three, four. Five. Yeah. So there's no central heating, so there's not. Some things don't have to be done the way that I that I did them before. Uh Oh, crap. I didn't do that. Uh, now we need to build the transport depot so we can get supply shipped from New London before food runs out to get in touch with them. An outpost administration will be necessary. Also, food. Food's, food's an issue. I'll provide some shelter. Um, there is a building, the administration, which has to go right next to our little central bit. Uh, I don't remember how big it needs to be. Um, 
That's pretty. Okay, how much? This is expensive too, but how much? 20 wood. Okay. Well, gonna go the night without eating. Did I ever play the Shadow of War games? Actually, I did a series, one of the first series that I ever did on the channel, was Road to Shadow of War, where I played through the entirety of Shadow of Mordor, and then I tried to play Shadow of War, and no one watched it. So, figure that one out. Uh, everyone fa feels relieved. We do have hope and discontent again. I th think the idea is I gave up some of my power after the Great Storm? I don't know. Also, five people are homeless still. Because I can't count, apparently. Yeah, let's build that there. We can and do eventually build braziers. Bra brazers. Bra brazier. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Heat tubs. That aren't. That are a whole lot like the heaters, but not exactly. Okay. Let's max that out, and then I need wood, frankly. But again, like I said, there's no central heating, so you don't really have to worry as much. So what? Let's get this shipment ready. Okay, that's good stuff. They're working there. I need to build a medical post. I can stuff that there. Because people do get sick. Because it is still negative four. Don't know if we've got anybody building that quickly. Gathering posts are running well. Steel wreckage depleted. Good stuff. Um, dismantle that. Just get our road. There. Then get a gathering post. The road's gonna be here. That can go to Nunt. We need this to go to that. And put you to work there. That's that and that and that and that and that. Transport depot. It's a big old thing. We also need 20 workers for here. Um, which we'll get done here shortly. Alright, so we'll max you out. Get that staffed so it can be running. Once we get some of these other supplies picked up, particularly that thing of wood crates. Uh, because what this does is it's an unending source of currently steel. It's going to be an unending source of something else. But we have to um, ship it to New London. Also, I forgot to build a stinking stinking. Actually, there's a couple things I need to build. I need to get this up and running. And I need to get this up and running. So we're trying to just get the basics of our infrastructure here. Up and ready to go. I'm going to have to move a house or 12. Because... Oh no, 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 I can fit it here. Great. I left just the right sized hole. I think this only goes to here. There we go. We're good. We're, we're alright. Smolten is asking. Waiting on orders for New London. Molten's asking what people thought of the Clone Wars finale, so I too am 
fairly curious. People seem to have liked it. Uh, while we wait on things to be built, I can actually tell you that it's performing as though people are are a fit. That confused me. All right, people seem to enjoy it. Um, it's got. 40 or so more views than the standard typical range. Uh, it's got seven or eight more minutes as the average view duration comparatively to the normal. Because I have a typical range and it's over the maximum of the typical range. And it's got uh, 2.4 thousand more minutes of watch time than the standard little diddly there. Hey -o. So, good day, Outpost 11. Well done with the progress so far. We'll send you the first food shipment soon. Now that the operation is established, we await the first batch of steel from your outpost. In the meantime, we are dispatching a group of clerks to run the outpost administration. Your children will arrive with them. They are surely, surely eager to rejoin you. Remember that we can always assist you with any problems. And you can actually, we need to talk. We can ask what our task is again. Um, we can say we've got problems. Now we do have favor. We can say, hey, we need food, but they're going to be absolutely fed up with us after that. We can ask for more coal or wood, should the need arise. And then you can... That's that. That's the big thing. This is odd. There must have been some misunderstanding. Our children were not supposed to join us. Certainly not so soon. It won't make things any easier for us. Well, it's too late to turn back, and at least New London promised to also send food our way. Hopefully they'll keep the schedule. So we're going to have 15 children and 10... Administration clerks, and I think the admin clerks live there, so I don't think that we have to find them a place to live. Uh, right, so I need workers. Where are my engineers? Ten of them are here. Okay. Do that there. Bra braziers? How is that pronounced? Mm. I must ask Siri. How do you pronounce braziers? How to pronounce English dictionary? Educate me. Over the hills and far away. Let's see. Here's how we pronounce it in the U.S. Let's see if I'm right. Brazier. Brazier. And in the U.K. Brazier. We had a odd little trill to the end. Odd to me. Not odd to you. Um, but it's brazier. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, here's a coal thumper. Faster gathering. That's really what I want right now. Actually, so sawmill will be... Da, 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 da. Let's get the faster gathering. It's going to help us in the immediate future. Also, people are sick because we don't have any heat. Uh, how far away is it? So, here is New London, which is where we were originally. We are... I don't know how far away, but this far away. Alright. I cannot... Sign a book of laws. Or I can sign a book of laws? Yeah, signs are. Signs are lauded. That's what I said, I meant it. Okay. So our supplies go, we're doing. Yeah. Hello, Star Killer. It got colder. Of course it did. I miss my heater. Wow, the workshop's got great insulation. Yeah, I've 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 never beaten this DLC, that's for one hundred percent certain. So is there a time limit on this? No. Okay, we're depleting that stuff slowly. In ruins. It was a thing. 
Uh, we have great news. The warehouse contains an unknown but very large number of steam cores. We immediately sent the news to New London and await instructions. In the meantime, we might try to haul at least some of them to the surface. But you cannot extract steel for that. So let's gather... Oh, I have four. Mm -hmm. Okay, they got here. And they do not have a home, of course. So we are out of raw food, so they don't need to be st still be working there. The clerks sent by New London to run the outpost administration are here. They brought our children with them. Many of them are really upset because it looks that our kids, many of our people, by the way, are really upset because it looks like our kids were neglected. They haven't had enough warm clothes, and some of them caught a cold on the way. But now that they are here, we can take proper care of them, so there is at least that. I've got 15 people. Get to work. So they're going to work in here, get me some steel, of which I need a, a good amount. I could turn this off. Uh, we've heard that a, a cache or cache, depending on who is saying it. Hello, Deutsch. Oh, well, thanks for stopping by, AD. You have fun. Hey, you can have fun working. Yeah, I don't know how it ends. Um, but I, I assume that London goes, oh... Hey, we can't... Well, things happen. Anyway. Uh, we've heard that a cache, for lack of a better pronunciation, of steam cores was found. This is a very timely discovery. These devices are critically important for the security of our city. Please send a couple of steam cores with each steel shipment from now on. It will help you ensure timely deliveries. You are hereby authorized to use emergency shifts. If you encounter any obstacles to your progress, talk to us. We'll find a solution, says the man with the very cool mutton chops and mustache. Uh, so the emergency shift edict was signed. People are hungry, but that sounds like a personal problem to me. I need to get a second uh, medical post up and running. Mainly because... Uh, reasons. Let's bring in coal and wood. I'm going to dismantle this and build one close... No, I'm not. Need steel. Get to work. Right, I got that. Output just goes up by 20%. Wooden supports cost wood, but then they increase the efficiency by 50%, but this just gives me more output. Heaters, I think. Um. Yeah, we'll have to see. Right now, we're still quite loyal. Dig! Dig and smack with axes. Where are your workers? Hmm? Work day is over. Run that. That's going to help less people. Be. We have a whole eight steel. Galaxy brains. Huh. I just let Deutsch tell me what I need to do. What? Uh, it's been days since we arrived, and we still only have a general idea of our surroundings. Let's send our scouts to look around. I need people at the moment. <sighs> Gets my better judgment. Remnants of a building. Cave entrance. Let's go find the. Uh, let's go take a look at the frozen dead. <sighs> I need more people. At least they're actually going to work this time. Lazy bums. Okay, I actually have a smidge of steel now. I can build this. No issues. Uh, something was depleted. Alright. Uh... Dismantle. I've got the heaters. I'd like for some people to not get sick. I've got a, 
At the current rate, I've got about a month of coal. That's funny. All right. I think this is an actual deposit, so I can build a mine. So there's... There's that. Oh, wait. Uh, let's get the heaters. I'm not going to try to butcher that pronunciation over and over again. Um, how are we doing? Doing all right on wood currently. The issue is, there's no... I don't know if you've noticed. This is the only source of steel that we have. And there's no wall drills. And there's no hunting. It really messes with the mojo. I can't send out my brigade of blimps. Wood crates depleted. Wood crates depleted. Okay, that's that. Um... That's going to need 10, so I only have 5 people to play around with here. Works over. Rest your weary bones. I went back to school Thursday and today, and my legs know a different pain. <laughs> five people are going to go back to once the morning comes. Didn't realize that more food got here. What? More sick beds. I literally cannot open a new medical post. I don't have the staff. Alright, uh, so we'll max that out. That will get me wood, steel, That'll be done. Hey -o. It is indeed a large grotto in the darkness filling it. In the darkness filling it, we find lots of animal and possibly human bones bearing teeth marks. We are in the lair of a large predator, probably a bear. Um, an animal that lived here was for a long time feeding on the prey hunted in the area. After searching the cave, we found the predator, a bear mother with young cubs. They were lying huddled together in the farthest corner of the cave. They did not survive the great storm. Let's check out the crumbling hut. So basically that storm had high velocity winds and stuff and uncovered some things that we're now finding, I think is the basic idea. I'll tell you what I do want. Let's get some... Get some of these built. I'd like to be able to stash up specifically wood and um, probably coal. When I've played on my own, I've not really succeeded well at Okay, now two people are gravely ill. Once that heater finishes... Okay, I need another medical post. That's what I need, unfortunately. What? Uh, many people are gravely ill and we don't have an infirmary yet. Should we ask New London? Yes. We need to tend to the gravely ill. They're not going to be a big fan, but we're going to ask them that we have a way to deal with it. We look at the problem and we think we have a law that will help solve it. Thanks. And they're going to sign uh, the radical treatment so that we can cut off limbs, I assume. Turn that off. We'll dismantle this. Really, I need more engineers, which is what I need. <laughs> Guess for now we'll get the gathering post built here. Get the wall built. <laughs> what? 
Uh, is there a problem? You haven't dispatched the scheduled steel and steam core shipment to us. To help you fulfilling your duties, we grant you the right to introduce extended shifts. Understood. That'll make people nice and happy. But I will sign the extended shift here. Probably run that. We've got about a month's worth of coal currently. Need to get these buildings built. Turning the raw food into food rations. That can be deactivated. You don't need to be working there. Sometimes I wish that workers could work at uh, a medical post. That's it. Work's done for today. Oh, I didn't actually pull the staff out of this. Go man that. That'll whip this up to 15 here in a minute. Hey, survivors! We knock and armed people answer the door, but they lower their weapons when we assure them of our peaceful intentions. We soon find out that we are their last hope. They are emaciated, hungry, and sick, and their supplies are running out. We learn from them that previous inhabitants of this place were killed by wild animals. Bring them back. Mainly because I need the engineers. So I'm awful. Have I played the DLC before the stream? Yes. Have I beaten it? No. 14 hour work day. <laughs> Alright, you work that. I don't. I'll tell you what we do. We've got. S Let's do that. And this. That'll alleviate some of our heating woes. Slowly but surely. Alright, I've got the steel as well, so let's flip this over to the steam cores. Mainly because we've got a small issue with not having much food. There's our heaters. About three days worth of coal. Mercy me, how much coal do you guys use? Sheesh. Hmm. I could not be more excited about the fact that I have more engineers coming. Alright, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn these off for now. Um, because I don't think that they really need to be running at negative four. Yeah, I mean, we're doing just fine without these things being on. So. Over here's a bit nippy. Otherwise, we're good to go. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Plus, people are sick. <clears throat> people were gravely ill, but we did not have... There's two ruins depleted. Dismantle. I just need more engineers. I mean, that's the big thing I need more of currently. Why is my efficiency here? Oh, two of my engineers are sick. That's comical. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. Trying to think. I mean, these two will cover most everywhere. I mean, I need those engineers, please. All right, we do need to build. Nope, slow down. Slow, slow your roll. Well, I uh, on a cycle of doom. All right, max this. What? I'm a moron. Okay. Really befuddled myself there. What? Uh, workers unloading the last shipment of food from New London notice that it's quite a bit smaller than usual. The news is, of course, already all over the outpost, causing much anxiety and anger among our people. Let's hope it's just a mistake, not a sign of things to come. We do have some raw food. Let's get people working. I have six more engineers. 
as it stands, still a lot of sick people. And you guys are doing nothing. So let's go ahead and check out the collapsed building here. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we're starting to inform you that due to circumstances beyond our control, your food supply will be reduced until further notice. We assure you that the shipments will return to the agreed size as soon as possible. We hope this inconvenience will not impede your progress. We expect you to keep shipments on schedule. Ah, <sighs> more bricks without clay. I'm certain somebody will understand that reference. Also, we have a small problem. Uh, and that is... I need to get the sawmills up and running. But in order to get them up and running, I need to do the research to get the sawmills. Oh, also... <laughs> Let's try Starkiller's idea here. There's nothing going on back here at all, so I'm gonna Gotta be careful with my wood. So I need to build four. So I've got one, two, three, four, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five less, so dismantle that. Dismantle that. Where are you? Uh, let's dismantle these two as well. I'd like to get a medical post area up and running. What did I dismantle? I dismantled four. How many extra did I build? One, two, three, four is what I needed. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Five is how many I did, so I can actually... Let's dismantle. I know what I'm doing. I have an idea. I'm probably going to get somebody killed, but... I've got a plan. It's not necessarily a good plan. Well... Data, 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 I cannot make bricks without clay is, in fact, yes, that is the movie that it's from, but it's, it's uh, in reference to the Bible. Um, so in, in the, what is it, the book of Exodus, Pharaoh gets mad at the Israelites and tells them to uh, collect their own, uh, what, clay, I think to make the bricks. They have, they have to collect something. I've got it all... I've got myself confused, but that's vaguely what it is. Alright. Um, build faster, please. So I think I dismantled... That's a good chunk of wood. I forgot to read the thing. Uh, perhaps it was a mountain shelter or a military watchtower. Uh, a shred of white flag flutters in the wind above it. There's no telling whether it was always been white or has lost all color over time. Let's check out the stone wall. Yeah, they were. They had to go get their own. Clay. I was thinking it was mud, which is why my brain just shut off. Um, Pharaoh got irritated with Moses and Aaron and God, I think. Alright, so I can ship out the steel of the steam cores. That should please them. Um, would you dismantle faster? Thank you. Because... I don't have the wood for that. Get a move on. There's work to do. So I'm gonna have a, a group of four medical posts eventually here.
Okay, we acknowledge the dispatch of your first shipment. These steam cores mean a lot to our people. We are pleased to let you know that we plan to send you your food shipments every day. Just keep these steam cores and steel coming. If the supplies you provide are deemed insufficient, we will have to think of some consequences. And remember, if you run into problems, let us know. The ire rises. Uh, the news that New London is pleased to tell us that they'll keep sending us the food they owe us spread among our people, causing a lot of resentment and anxiety. And the vague consequences they threaten us with, shall we fail to please them, further fan the flames of outrage. All everyone is talking about now is how we should use the steam cores to help us first, since we found them and have no generator, unlike folks in New London. Yeah, they do fire you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If you forget long enough, they certainly do fire you. Okay, this can be dismantled as well. Uh, now, these aren't going to run, but... That gets them... Hang on, hang on, I've already forgotten where I was. Okay, so, if I build it here, I get two houses over, so I don't need to heat you twice. Now, we do have a small problem, because this house is not included in any of the heating that I just did. Collecting a good amount of coal. Research. Did I do the drawing boards? I did do the drawing boards. More scouts. Meh. Uh, resource depot upgrade. Um, coal mining. I need a steel core, but I can get those easy enough. Did I not do hand carts? Hand carts. No, moron. Stop it. Why do I listen to me? Oh, I like, I like, I like, I like, I like. He's suggesting putting it here. Oh, I need it here. <laughs> I think they'll care if half, if there's just a big metal pole in one of their rooms. Like, it's, it's, it's in it, but it's just not having it. So we'll do it there. I don't want to build three as of yet. But I could justify building a third one if I ditch the rest of the tents here. And so I will. Three. There's three there. Yep, there we go. Oh, I put the put the put the Okay, well, still, now, I could. My grandiose plans. I can put up. Yeah. Mm hmm. Actually. Thank you for that. Okay, that heats these two. And I'll put that there. I don't... Hang on. I don't need that. Because I can build this here. That's much better. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a moron. That's what I am. Um, currently, I cannot waste wood on being pretty. But we've got kind of our now fairly strange looking center. Oh, but because of my fairly strange looking center, I don't need this here. That's great. Give me wood. Yes. Good. Wood. This doesn't need to be there. This doesn't need to be there either. 
actually. I got a little carried away with the. No, nope, 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 nope. Here, I guess I can do that. I don't have any raw food anywhere. I, I didn't have a big brain moment. You guys told me, and I went, oh, <laughs> build. 47 of you have nothing to do because I need. Okay, now I can put the cookhouse here. No, that sucks. I hate that. Whose idea was that? Can't fit it there either. Can't put it there. Could have put it here. That would have been a better spot. Can't put it here because it's in bad location. Can I dismantle you? I wish I could move you. You've been plopped in the most of in most inconvenient of locations. Well, I guess I'll put the. See, just nothing will fit in that tiny little hole. So I'm going to build that right back where it was. And I just want to be on the work crew that has to do that. Wait, what? I can rotate the build. What ho? Variety! Oh! Oh, well, how you like that? No, I, I, I did not. Oh. Wow, you like them apples. Why are people homeless? Oh, that's why. How are we doing on heat? Oh, look at that toastiness. It's gorgeous. Well, thank you. I don't know if I said thank you or not, but I thought thank you, and that's that's all that really matters, is what I thought. That's it, yeah. That sounds, that sounds right. Okay. I have a steam core. I think I'm working on a sawmill currently. I also need to be able to send two steam cores. And my guys are so slow. There we go. So it takes them five hours to pull a steam core out. I like, <laughs> but I like my order of the city for my city of order <laughs> under the new order. Shipping has reached New London. You're welcome. Look at that. I feel dumb for not remembering that I could put roads in between my houses. Or tents, I guess is all they are right now. That sentence broke my brain. <laughs> Alright. Now I can actually build... But I'm low on wood. And I think I need 10 wood for a sawmill. I actually did play this game once. And ran out of wood. Like a moron. Although, that is a good amount of supplies. Here, bring that back. I need the wood. Okay. They're still sending me food. Which I appreciate. 0.3 per hour. Yeah, hand carts is... I got six days worth of coal. I don't have an income of coal, and I'd like an income of coal. And there's only ten coal there, and now I'm curious how many more times I can say coal. Uh, so I think I'm gonna get the coal mine. Three. And then I'll get the hand carts. Because I now no longer have an income of coal at all. Pretty. And I also put a sawmill back here. Speak of the devil. Yep, okay, need that built. <laughs> out of wood. Of course, these guys will be here soon, but. Alright, get that up and running. That'll get me some wood, there we go, and I'll get the sawmill back here, here. 
for the sake of pretty. Here we go. I can't believe these turn sideways. I had no idea you could move buildings. Three sawmills. Yeah, I think, yeah. Because this only gets this. You have to build one further back. But for now, it will do. And we'll run well enough. All right, give me wood. Oh, well, <laughs> that was perfectly timed. Go find this remnants of a building. We will need that second team before too long, but let's get the coal mining up and running. Okay, you guys need to switch over to steel, which does not take very long at all. People are hungry. Let's get the raw food turned into food rations. I know. I, I don't know what happened, but I'm like, I need wood. Badoing. That was the exact noise it made. It was badoing. The work day is over. You're free to your quarters. Look at that. Starkiller and Deutsch saved my rump. Alright. Got a source of wood. Vomla Scott, the thousand steel. The thousand, the one hundred steel. So let's go ahead and send that. Uh, and they'll they'll send me some food. And my phone will go to good ding. Uh, man, hamburgers do sound good. All right, so we've sent that. People are hungry. There's more pe hungry people than. Okay, hang on, hang on. The food rations just went down, and I got. No more uh, stuff. Okay, we have bad news for you. The rules governing your shipments are changed. From now on, food supplies will only be sent after you dispatch a shipment of steel and steam cores. We regret the necessity of taking such drastically measures, but they were deemed essential. Um, um, <laughs> I had to look at my phone for a second. Deemed essential to facilitate timely delivery of critical supplies. I guess I'll understood it and people will be displeased. There it goes. Got five days of coal at the current. Our people are angry and anxious about the food situation. A group of experienced explorers is here to talk to you about a solution. By cutting our food supply, New London has shown that we can't rely on them. We need to have another source of food. Fortunately, our scouts reported signs of recent human presence to the south. Send them to investigate. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, uh, oh, hello, Kel. I, I, I missed the hello on Twitch. I look at YouTube, but Twitch chat doesn't get as much activity, so I, I, I missed it. I'm sorry. Look! It's a great exodus to our houses. Okay. Guys. 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 There is a perfectly good road right here. Anyways, we're currently completely and absolutely, utterly out of food. Um... I just need you guys to take a hard left. <laughs> Do we have food coming to us at all? No? Great. This is good. I'm excited, truly. This is, I'm thrilled. I have 123 people. Just stupidly not even using roads. That's, that's what it's come to. And that group of people. These guys... I feel like some of them just turned around. None of them even made it to their bed. These guys are going to work in the warehouse, I think. Right? Yep, there they go. Got a serious food problem. These can turn off. Oh. 
We had to amputate a person. Coal mining is research. Get the coal mine built. I might be able to... That's how that works. Yeah, I don't know. That Look. I mean, the snow's blowing back over it now. Morons. Like, this makes sense. We're gonna take the most direct route, but... Okay, uh, I need, um... More scouts. Okay, let's get this running. Now I have an actual income, constant income of... Oh! Hand carts. Well, I think shush. I do need to do hand carts, but... More so, I need food. Switch this to this. What? Um, I can't address that right now. Someone's starving. I need food badly. Temperature's gonna drop again. It's the only big thing. I have lost this before because everyone died from hunger, so. Don't rule it out. Cannot keep going. Ten people are starving, and now it's cold. What is this? This is one coal per hour. If I turn this sucker on, how much do you use? Three coal per hour. Oh, six to one half dozen the other. Um. Hurry up, people. We have a quota to fill. Uh, hand carts. No, hand hand carts. Thank you. Oh yeah, hand carts will do that. Uh, now you go there. We're gonna lose somebody to starvation here before too long. Hand carts. It's good stuff. Mixed crews. Not doing too awful on most things. I need food is is the big It's the, it's the big thing, is I just need food. Shipments ready for New London. Send me food. Thirty. And it's still twelve hours away. Uh slopes gently toward a valley. Place with a view. The view is promising. The valley seems cozy by the Frostland standards and invites us to descend into it. There's nothing remarkable about the... Go find the secluded valley. Meanwhile, I'm hungry. Still. And ten people are starving. I only have twelve people of a cushion currently, and that's just because I'm not using them. Don't suppose they're the ones starving by any chance. Turn this on and staff it. As soon as that food gets here, I want it turned into food rations before somebody starves. You found wooden steel! Before the frost, there was probably a road here that led from the bay to the plains, and, and it must have been frequented since there was an inn beside her. Uh, the place was undoubtedly nice at the feet of the mountains with a view of the sea on the horizon. That's all we can guess from the ruins sticking out from under the ice. So there's a forgotten fishery and Nansen Stormwatch. I'm going to go check out the forgotten fishery. Maybe there's fisheries in the fishery. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, send me the stinking food. Okay, now you need that. And is it just now work time? 
Make food. Eat people. Oh my goodness, they ate all of it. Oh boy. I hate it when you promise to feed everyone and then you get food. There's that one guy who refuses to eat until you break the pro- Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't take long. I was really hoping Seven was going to turn into more of the... Alright, guys. Everyone's going to die. Die. Or to communicate. We need more raw food. Don't need more people. I need more food. No, we can't afford it. <laughs> Not so much for that idea. Did that use all my favor up? Well, no, because they couldn't give me any. Alright, well we found wood. Going further into the valley, we find the remains of a grove. A large number of stumps is all that's left of it. Someone cut it down not too long ago. We found some fresh chips under the snow. Go to the hot springs! Why are we 18 hours away? I need food! And I feel like my starving people didn't eat. Give me something! We're all going to die from starvation. We're all going to die from starvation. Hey, I'm still at point two. I have a complaint. I did the wooden carts. I did the hand carts and everything. I have no steel. But da 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 No steel, no steel. All right, switch, switch. Discontent's not too happy because I just did an emergency shift where everyone's gonna work for 24 hours straight. Yeah, the wooden supports get me a good amount. All right, now, as far as research goes, I need steel. Now I have some. I'm gonna go with the medical post. What am I going to do? No, I need 1,000 steel. They're going to work through the night to try and get me there. 17 people are now starving. That's not great stuff. That's not great stuff. I know. People are hungry. I'm working on it. Just don't die on me. Ooh. Oh, a lot of people are hungry. High discontent, not now. Uh, um, uh -huh -huh. Let's do that. Give me more steel. Let me send my shipment. There we go. Send it. They're gonna send me food. Still not near enough. Um, so, New London's always, as I understand it, drafting machines. Okay. That's what I need for this. <laughs> More steel than I have. What? Food! Remains of fishermen huts are scattered among the ice. The f wood is crushed to splinters. It won't be of any use to us. Bring it back. All nine. Just bring it back. Drafting machines. Okay, now 20 people are starving. What? Food! Okay, a small settlement built under the cover of rocks in which several dozen people live. It consists of several sturdy buildings and two large greenhouses heated by hot springs. 
Amazingly, people live here, and not only do they grow their own food, but they're willing to share it. This enclave of life clinging to a few hot springs was settled after the great storm by people from a town which survived with the help of another city. They set up the hot houses here and planted the seeds, as they say, to pass the gift of life. They gave us some food as a gesture of goodwill and are eager to trade more in exchange for help with expanding their settlement. Food! Get back here with the food! You've got 38 raw food, you've got 9, and we've got 30. I Don't starve now. Don't die. I need this, but I need people. Hmm. All of a sudden, I'm low on workers, and 25 people are threatening to die if I don't feed them soon. Which is just thoughtless, really. Yes, there is. There's, um... Mixed crews. But it's less efficient. Okay, you're 12 hours away. You're a day and three hours away. And you are... Five hours. No one... Now colder than it, than it were. Here. Not now. The discontent can go further. Food. Yes, I agree, Star Killer. There's a reason to that. Okay, the discontent just went up further. So maybe. All right. We're at a thousand steel. Got a good amount of wood, so I'm gonna do that and switch it over to this. Mainly because I need more food. Alright, now only 13 people are starving. <laughs> oh, what a game. And again, we see these people wandering through the snow instead of... Okay, freight elevators. Gotcha. I think it does, and I, I skipped to this one instead of doing the others, but I think that Sister City, I think you play as. The Ark, maybe. Okay. Thirteen people are now starving. There's nine food. Switch that into food rations. Now only seven people are starving. Disband this, which gives me the appropriate workers needed to send to the hot springs. Because we're still, we're just. New Autumn is brutal. I have yet to beat it, and I'm still trying. New, new Autumn is, is difficult. I'd like to get a basic grasp on that before. Streaming it. <laughs> okay. Oh, give it time. So I'm gonna tell you. New Autumn, I think, is very cool, though. It's a very, very cool idea. Alright, 46 people are starving, and we're only bringing in 38 raw food. No, no, no. 38 raw food is what? Do I still do foo 4 from 2? So 38 divided by what? 2... 38 divided by 2 is 4, 14? No. Hang on. What's 38 divided by 2 because I suck at math? It's 19. 19. 19 times 4? 76. 76. We're good. 46 people are starving. 47 people are hungry. That should take care of all my... You have to, in New Autumn is a, uh, prequel. You have to build the generator, which is a pain. Alright. Got one raw food. Feed my starving people! Okay. Oh, 
bread. Uh, building a build a trading depot. Great. Uh, our people rejoice at the news of the food deal with Hot Springs. We might still have to somehow return the favor, but we'll do it on our own terms. Uh, now they're gonna be like, "Hey, uh, your people did a great job setting up the trading depot so quickly. It's almost as if they were hungry and wanted to go eat." Could have done your raw food supply times two. Oh, but that math would have been difficult. Uh, or simple, rather, and that would have made sense. And who does that? Uh, I can start helping each other. We're sending you our surplus of food, and we can give you more if you provide us with the resources necessary to expand our settlement. We'd be great grateful if you could also assist us with improving our housing and health care. That's great. Now I'm going to go talk to... <laughs> no, not you. Yeah, you. Uh, we have some problems. Raw food? No, oh, you still can't afford it. It's worth a shot. Uh, send us more people. We can't spare you in the moment. But we have an idea that can help you. Uh, well, we can employ children. That's good. I guess. And that used all my favor. Okay. Probably should have asked for something like coal. Let's go check out this, uh, st storm. Watch, I guess. Now, they're sending me 60 raw food, which is good because 12 people were threatening to do something silly, like die. Let's dismantle that. Just for the fun of it, then, I'm going to build that there. Um, need to do some research. We did the elevators, which is good stuff. Um, I need that. I need an infirmary. Now, meanwhile, I'm going to trade wood and steel. Yeah, send me food. Thomas wants food badly. Okay, switch to the different resource. And how much time do we have left? Go to Let's do that. For the fun to kill. <laughs> I just need food. And to get rid of my steel, but get building. <laughs> Look how fast the thing was going. What? People are hungry! I have three days to feed everyone. I think I can do that because of the amount of incoming food that I've got. I've got 60 and 20, which is 60 and 20. 60 and 20 is 80. That's 160 food rations. I, that's more than I have people, so yeah, we should be fine. Okay, now, just because wood is expensive and difficult to get a hold of right now, and we're starting to really run low on the amount of trees that we have available to us to cut down which is a whole other thing the lights turned on it's night time get this manned alright now we commend you for finding another settlement and making initial contact with a representative. Their crops will provide a very timely aid to our food security. However, we have to remind you that all external connections and food distribu di distribution <laughs> um, network are to be handled directly with New London. Immediately cease contact with Hot Springs and hand over the raw food you received. Uh, this is outrageous. And I hang up on them, apparently. And they kind of get a little, they get a little displeased. Yeah, I need to scout east. You are correct, Starkiller. I know what's in the east, too. People have had enough. Uh, people are rioting. They refuse to follow orders from New London. No more masters, chants the mob. Enough is enough. A minor waves is Matic in the air. Curses. 
Uh, they treat us like dirt, abuse our kids, and now they want us to just give up our only hope for survival? No way. People have dragged the office workers from the outpost administration to kick them out of the outpost as they stand. Shall we intervene to let the clerks prepare for our journey to New London? We send them back as they stand, or tell our people to back down. We're going to make sure that they get back in one piece. I still can't believe that you can turn buildings sideways. That has blown my ever-loving mind. What? Uh, you treacherous scum. Your outpost is officially disbanded, and you all will be tried for treason upon your return. You have three weeks to convince us that you've changed your ways and wish to remain, remain loyal citizens of New London. After that, you'll be hauled back in manacles, and may God have mercy on your souls. This was New London speaking over and out, and then they become displeased. I just need to feed my people. I have enough food supplies to actually do that now. I also have 15 kids doing nothing. Oh, hang on. That's great. No, kids can't work there. Kids can't work there. Where can children work? Can children work here? Children are useless. <laughs> kids can work here. What? Uh, with the communications cut, there's no way for us to walk back from the brink, even if our people cool down and have second thoughts about the whole independence declaration thing. Uh, we can only prepare to confront what we must assume will be punitive. A punitive, punitive, punitive. That's correct. Uh, expedition coming from New London. For this, we will need much more manpower and resources than we have. So let's try and find people in Frostland. Maybe there are other settlements like Hot Springs. It's worth asking for help. I have six workers. Harsh words were said, reckless decisions were made, but we can't turn back time. We can't turn back time. We should now focus on searching Frostland in hopes of finding... In hopes of finding our other people. In hopes of finding other people out there. Alone, we have no chance against New London, other than... Other than we just have to wait for them to move. Okay. So I think some people ate raw food. The starving people ate the raw food, but that's okay. People are eating raw food. That usually results in them getting sick. I feel like this outpost is reincarnation of the Americans. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. All right. You guys would like steel and wood for food? Send me food. Until I get a little more comfortable with the amount of food that I have. I still cannot sign my own laws. Or I can sign my own laws? Yeah, I can't sign my own laws. Because then I could give kids the less safe jobs. So the expelled clerks are going back to New London. Uh, our politics of that Britain was an empire and was fighting wars, whereas New London are a bunch of controlling <laughs> rat lickers. Yeah, I don't think that it... I have no idea if, if the fact that I, I, I went a little power-hungry at the end has anything to do with this or not. I don't think it does. Alright, we are. Okay, it is cooling off some. I think I can turn this off. We've got four days worth of coal currently. Fifteen people are hungry. That will be fixed. In short order. Oh, it's not work time yet. Make food, children! Yay, food rations! Look at that, it's so exciting! Okay, um... You guys need to scout east. For reasons. Give people food, they stop being hungry. That's weird. Infirmaries! Hooray. Um, before we do that, I just want to make sure that we don't have a coal problem. Uh, I will tell you, I think that these can be turned off. And we'll be fine. Yeah, we're fine. That doesn't need to be on either. So basically, I'm using... 
no, well, hardly any coal. I will try not to die till you come back. Thanks for being here. Oh, yeah, we need help against New London. Uh, sorry to hear that. We were the cause of your clash with New London. If you help us, we might be able to support you later in your struggle. We'd be grateful if you could help us with setting up basic health care and building bunkhouses. We lack manpower and resources to do this by ourselves, and we dread that we won't survive another storm. We'll think about it. Um, and then I can send them some supplies. I can help them repair their pump. And every time I do that, they send me raw food. I can send people to actually help them as well. I've got some steel, so we'll do that. And they'll send me more food. Actually, what's kind of fun is you can see the different, oop, different transports. So they've sent some food, so we've got the gear for that. Which is pretty neat. Uh... Okay, now, there's not a lot. I need, what, five workers? And unfortunately, the children cannot work in these places. And I cannot sign the law that lets kids do, uh, dangerous jobs. That was a noise. A child injured at work. Um, the child won't work for 24 hours. Hope will raise slightly. Hope will fall slightly. How do you hurt your... Oh. Knives. Yeah. Well, I don't have any food right now anyway, so give the kid the day off. What? What? I heard I heard the noise. Oh, there it is. Um, now that New London no longer controls our affairs, many of our people say that they feel free for the first time in their lives. True, we lost their guidance and support, but we gained independence. We don't have to do their bidding, ask permission to cook soup. We can pass our own laws and decide what to do. There's a petition to change our name of our settlement since we no longer an outpost. Should we do it? Yes, let's do it. What do you guys think we should name this? You tell me, either in the Twitch chat or in the YouTube chat. And if we come up with a good name, because it wants to default to Hearth. The city of Hearth. Tamalia. That's funny. That that's comical. That is funny. I kind of like Tamalia. Other city names that I do with my name in it, I've done Thomasopolis. I can sign laws. Kids, you're going to work. Go cut wood. <laughs> Seems like a safe thing to do with kids. Uh, I'm gonna send five. There you go. Tamalia Trialia. I just went with Tamalia, but that's funny. All right, I've got seven people doing nothing now. So. I will go to just three children. For now. Are you waiting on workers? Okay. They are sending a good amount of food. I don't need another transport depot yet. The fact that anyone's hungry at this point is your own fault. We have 120 food rations. Coal mining optimization is now done. Sawmills are... Eh. Let's grab an infirmary. I need those badly. That's still not all the... Okay, survivors, sturdily built, Nansen Stormwatch survived the storm and rises proudly over the snow. It was here that we have seen the last traces of the fearless polar explorer. Its walls are free of ice, someone must be inside. 
Inside, we find a group of people huddled by a big stove. They say that they were rescued by Nansen from a whaling ship trapped in the ice right before the Great Storm. The Great Explorer brought them here and ventured further north. North? North? North. Um. Sorry, I read the chat. <laughs> Uh, he brought them here and ventured further north to study the changes brought to the world by the Great Storm. They survived thanks to the store of fuel and f rations found nearby, which is now running out. So we'll escort the survivors to our outpost. So we do have incoming supplies of food, which is great. Um, let's go ahead and send them the pump repair stuff as well. Just need more steel currently. And the fact that people are hungry are hungry are again their own stupid faults. There you go. Eat the eat the food. Hungry we're fed. That was close. Alright. Uh your people want to build a medical post in our settlement. It's not necessary in our opinion. We have ways of healing. The aura of the springs is a cure in itself. We don't trust engineers and their mechanical way of thinking. We'd rather not have them around. You can help us in many other ways. Uh, I'm gonna upset them. Uh, and build it. Yes, you had to ask them to build, to do, you had to ask them to do everything. Because they sign laws. We do have survivors coming. Looks like over 30. Steel. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, mother has refused to let her daughter go to work. Afraid she'll get injured. We could look the other way this time, but others might see it as unfair. No. Go to work. Okie dokie. Right oh. get everyone? I can if I build it right here at this junction. There we go. It's gonna leave a few people. Also, I want to get another medical post built here. What cracks me up is it's Somalia. <laughs> it just says Somalia. There's 527 people in New London. Uh, these guys are just slow as Moses. Do we have engineers? Why we'll have engineers? No one's homeless. Look at that. All right, I want you to go check out the windy beach. I know that this. So a little bit of spoilers. This way leads to coal, eventually, I think, and this way leads to wood, I believe. Here's what I don't recall. What's back down here? Okay, now. Basic health care. I need to send five... Uh, of course I need to send five. Hang on. I have one engineer working someplace else. Let's get the kids working back over there. Okay, I have an idea. And it requires me to cancel this. And dismantle these. I have a plan. It's not necessarily a good plan. But it is a plan. Uh, let's get the bunkhouses. Um, yeah, the infirmary will fit here. It's the same size. Anyway. Uh, I have a road problem. Oh, that's right. K. 
Okay, that's better. Fine. Go send the engineers. More people. Send in the pump renovation eventually. We'll do that eventually. I'll tell you what I need them to do is finish dismantling. Get the f infirmary built. Can I fit a medical post here? I cannot. Wish that I could, though. Tell you that. Okay. Dismantle this. Dismantle that. I have a plan. It's not necessarily a very good plan, but it is a plan. Wait, 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 wait. that manned. Now, I can sneak a medical post. Well, actually do that instead. Get a road here. There we go. Now I'm going to dismantle this. I have a plan. It's a great, great, great plan. Let's do that. So does New London come with weapons and attack you, or do they back off? I don't know. I've never beaten this. Could not tell you. All right, now I need to get this right there. Doesn't need to be running currently. Hot springs, good stuff. I'll send the pumps renovation. Okay, that's out of wood. the wrong buttons. As far as laws go, what else can we do? We can do a cemetery. They did the radical treatment for me. Uh, we can work on prosthetics eventually. Build the care house, which is a problem. I'll put it with all the other houses, I guess. How many engineers do I currently have unstaffed? Currently, we don't have the need for the sick people that don't need to be treated. Alright, so as we had hoped, we found a pass leading safely to the other side. There's also a sheltered place where we could rest for a while. Um, apparently not only... Apparently not only we found the pass to be convenient way over the mountains. Bonfire remains and other evidence attest that people camped here. However, they all seem old. And we see the... Galore? Of the dead? That's a word. Galore. That, I don't know how it's pronounced. Okay, care house promise fulfilled. Good stuff. Temperature's gonna drop. Get up, people. We're on the 17th. Wait, I mean, if the kids can be working back here, you know. Uh, so this care house should have one person in it. It does. Oh, huh, oopsie. Tell you what, I forgot the rebuild it was this. All my genius, I have a plan moments. There we go. Is 
the bunk houses now. The bunk houses need ten steel apiece, which means I can build a few. I mean, I don't really have a heat problem yet. But it's best to get that out of the way. Um Factory gets me prosthetics. It also takes engineers, which I don't have. Let's get efficient burners. Okay. Ouch. Sorry, I had to readjust myself in the seat, and then I... Almost cut myself, I think. Okay, what else do you want? You want helping hands? Fine. Send that. Send me food. All oh, the shipments just got the hot springs. Doing alright thus far. Ow. Knock on all the wood. Is there not research that I can do for faster sleds? Lighter scout sleds. There is. I'm just a moron. That's how that works out to be. Again, I don't understand how anyone's hungry. What size are resource depots? Too big, of course they're too big. Alright, so as we get closer, it turns out that these are not rocks, but huge rusted cages. There are frozen bodies inside and some lie around the cages as well. These people were killed some time ago. The frozen bodies have been partially scavenged by animals. They lay scattered without any semblance of order of respect. Uh, if we had any doubts whether the bodies were thrown here deliberately, a sign at the entrance to the gully dispels them. No man will have rule over others for all time, convicts of Frostland. These are probably bodies of the overseers who guarded convicts working on Frostland, as these cages were used to transport convicts from place to place. So we will take the, uh, that. I'm gonna take out the shipwreck camp. In the middle of the white wasteland, we see a wreck of a seagoing ship. Confrontation is in 17 days. Confrontation? Again, the fact that you're hungry is a serious personal problem. Uh, this is urgent. We need your immediate assistance. A geyser has erupted, causing damage to the crops and many injuries among both ours and your people. The burn victims need advanced treatment to survive. We don't have the proper technology, and we ask ourselves if we should have. We never needed it before your arrival. We need to send the victims to you for treatment, although it's dangerous due to the sensitivity of the burns in the distance. Uh, ten gravely ill people will be sent. Hot springs will be pleased. I cannot build an infirmary because I don't have the resources. I need a uh, steam core that I do not currently have. Discontent's low, though. So I'll tell you what we do. We do this. Just because I want steel. Try and plan ahead a smidge here. Almost had enough. Here we go. Someone died. Who died? How, how did you die? Death of overwork. Whenever people suddenly die during an emergency shift. Uh, we must make sacrifices to survive. Whoops. May have overworked you a smidge. The rest of you need to get building houses. This thing on. Uh, it turns out that there is no city in the hole. Part of the ice and snow covered beach was carried away by winds of extreme force, which was exposed bare rock underlying it. Uh, this is just a depression. Reaching all the way to the bare rock created by violent winds. One of the more striking testaments to the power of nature's forces unleashed in the passage of the Great Storm. Now we can see Tesla City again and a shattered dreadnought. I don't think anyone in there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and man these with all the uh, with the gravely ill people. All right, let's let them get me a bit of steel. Efficient burners. I think the children are less efficient. Shockingly. I think that they're less efficient. You can actually see how much more people can be stored in the houses because they're going to be pretty good to go. Alright, so the gravely ill people got here and now we're treating most of them. Uh, we've heard that the burn victims have arrived to your settlement after a long and exhausting journey. We are horti horti hor <laughs> horrified to learn that almost half of them died on the way, and the rest is in critical state. Please help them immediately, or they will die, too. Establishing a, establishing a safe and fast connection between our settlements would help prevent such tragedies in the future. Our people might distrust technology, but we can see its uses. We offer you steady food shipments every two days if you build a safe route to us. Someone, five people died. I need... Uh, our medics in Hot Springs report that the locals are using some kind of moss as a mild sedative. They recommend its use to, to help with anxieties our people suffer. The problem is that the locals don't want to share it. If we want some, we'd have to steal it. Do we have your blessing? Uh, discontent will fall slightly. Hope will rise slightly. Hot favor, hot springs favor will be exhausted. Hot springs will be displeased. Um, just no, you can't get high on the moss. Need to build this. So we need to upgrade that. Yeah. Need to build a cemetery. Sign the cemetery law. Can the cemetery cram here? I think cram there. Let's plot the cemetery there. All right, shipwreck camp. No kings, only men. Convicts were widely used on Frostland to build generators, deceived by false promises of amnesty, and return home. Most of them were worked to death, carried on prison ships from one construction site to another. Some of them have rebelled, and those we met were successful. They killed their guards, took over the ship, and set up their own settlement far from London's power. The hull of the ship, heated by steam broilers, protected them from the great storm, hearing that we had... Hearing that we too have rebelled against our masters, they seem to warm up to us. That's great news. Good stuff. Figure out what's at the frozen sea. I need to send a a um a crew, but not until this is upgraded. Mechanical calculations. I need lighter scout sleds. They're so slow. Right. So, while the safe route is being established, we need to reduce the risk of the next eruption. Your engineers want to flood the caves to stabilize the flow. This shall stop eruptions and might give us bigger crops, but would also destroy the cave moss we are using as a mild sedative. We'd strongly prefer to drill a borehole to lower the pressure. Eruptions will still happen from time to time, but such is the nature of this place. Hot springs will be displeased, raw food, shipments will rise by 10, overflow redirection will be unlocked. Um, hot springs will be pleased. I'm going to upset them and get more food because our engineers are assumedly okay. I mean, we can't use, they won't let us use the med sedative anyways, so. If you don't share, then I take it from you. I feel like we should have learned that by now. Okay, so I can send some things. I can send more people. I don't want to send more people. All right. Ah, wood, food rations, and steel. Oh. So, the city founded by a genius inventor, we already know about Tesla City. I'm gonna leave this place. I don't think 
curses. Oh well. Let's go over to Shattered Dreadnought. I didn't want to take a chance of them dying. I don't I don't have a lot of people and I forgot to save beforehand, so. Uh, I don't know if they'll get all shooty, but they definitely will definitely have an issue with, um... <laughs> I think we're just gonna drop again. Blech. With that whole electricity problem. Four days of coal. It's not too bad. Alright, we stand at the edge of a field of ice waves stretching to the horizon. Could you could you imagine seeing something like this? Frozen water that was waving and it got so cold that it all froze at once. Um, this must have been a seashore before the seashore... Sally and all that. Seashore, seashells. This must have been a seashore before the seashore storm. This sight is truly amazing. We can see some shape rising above the waves on the horizon. Ooh, ghost ship. That sounds like a good way to, like... For something bad to happen. Oh, we're actually almost up on steel. I can ride another loss. Let's get that ceremonial funeral just on the off chance anyone else were to not, not, not live. I have a new plan. I'm gonna use what Starkiller told me. Build it sideways. Spent a little money on making things prettier. Not a whole lot. Okay. Let's work on building. I need you guys to go set up shop there. We'll work on the uh, safe path here in a minute. And I guess I'm not using the people, so. Now, the good news is that the people creating the safe passage don't actually uh, you can also see the shipment leaving actually these are construction crews just that fun little thing yay faster sleds factory not yet Steam coal mine. Let's actually employ less people at the infirmary. Actually, run. How expensive this is. So let's build the safe thing. Um, we found a camp in the bodies of members of a scouts team. One of our people recognized his friends who disappeared during the Great Storm. Apparently, after losing contact with New London, they built a camp to work, wait out the worst weather. We would like to bury them properly, for which we'll need some wood, and we kindly ask for your approval. Hope will rise. Fine, bury them and do the thing of the thing. I'm currently running low on wood, so I'll tell you what we do. need the efficiency to go up a smidge, so we're gonna get some adult supervision at our <laughs> children camps there. Oh shoot, I needed those engineers. I forgot what I was using them for. Okay. I kind of need more food or wood. All right, you guys camp out because until I have more wood. Wouldn't you know it, now we're running low on wood. What? 
More food rations. Alright, the ship carried hundreds of convicts whose bodies are still locked in the cells, but the crew did, uh, did not abandon them. We found their remains in their quarters. There's still plenty of food aboard. We could take it, although we can't be sure what was the cause of the crew. I mean, the food might have been bad. But we don't know that for sure. Alright, bring back what you found. And I'll send you elsewhere. Okay, our hope's good. Just, we have no wood. At all. <laughs> you have some. Between the scattered elements of the ship's structure, we find an engraved nameplate of the USS Prometheus. So this is all that remains of one of the dreadnoughts used to found Tesla City. The great storm has buried it under such a thick layer of ice that we have no hope of uncovering it. Perhaps spring will thaw. A spring thaw will allow us to get to it someday. But we did find some wood and steel. Um, let's head over to Mirror Lake. I don't know. Can I send you to New London? I can. I wonder what happens if we just show up like, hey! Probably get arrested or shot. Or both. My other crew needs to get over to that shipwreck area. There's tons of wood over there. There you are. Build a trading depot. Right, here in just a moment I can actually talk to them. Alright. Thanks to this trading depot you've built, we can help each other serve five. That's great! Let me talk to you. I need... I'm going to improve the acquisition of resources so you have some steel. I'm going to raise the food availability. Basically I'm going to help them build a cookhouse. Give me more wood. Then I'm just going to trade resources for wood. I forgot they like coal. I have two children doing nothing. Oh, uh, hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Guys, I need some food. I heard the noise that says I need to do something. Oh. These guys. Oh, I need steel. That's funny. Um. There it is. Oh, dear. So, there's been an accident. Child worker's been trapped and badly injured inside a machine. We have to stop the entire facility if we want a chance saving the kid. Oh. <sighs> Let's try to save this child. That's kind of funny that they gave me the option to go, Ah, just keep it running. Uh, let's get that running. I have some... Just kind of cracked me up that that was an option. Oh, why are you not on... I'm a moron from Moron Town. How do we do? Oh, dear. Uh, we failed to get the child out alive. The wounds inflicted by the machine were too severe. We did what we could, but it wasn't enough. And we have more, but... Probably not the, not the point, though, huh? Okay. I need food badly. I forgot that I was doing things with them. Well, oh, hey, I have some food rations. Great. Don't stay long enough to eat. Can't have that. Uh, out this way. Because these guys will take care of that. <laughs> okay, I could sign a new law. Though. Now the rest of those laws are very handy. Also, discontent's low. Get me steel. Okay. Oh 
we're starting to use some coal. Alright, although we found warm springs on Frostland previously, this time we have sadly deluded ourselves. Uh, sunlight is reflected on the surface of the ice, probably due to the temperature gradient in the air. There's nothing to see here. There's a victim's colony. We see a human settlement surrounded by a wall. Could it be the old colony of exiles from Tesla City? Also, save the game. How much? No, so much. Also, uh, send them that. That'll get some food sent my way. I just need more steel. Also, it's freezing out here. Um, we're not dead yet. Got a small steel problem. And a kid got mangled in a machine. That's currently the, uh... Not a real kid. Fake kid, of course. Yep, but nope. That was sad the first time I read it, and it's still sad now. Uh... Tell you what we need. We need, um, healthcare insulation. Steel. Oi! Give that to be maxed out, please. They're still just hanging out. Okay. I'm going to save the game again because I think this is an RNG fight. Like, not to actually. All right, so when we approach the palisade, we notice that the gate is ajar. We enter cautiously and see ourselves surrounded by silhouettes of people wandering aimlessly among the settlement's buildings. They react to our presence only when we try to talk to them. It seems that these people have lost everyone and everything in the great storm, even the will to live. We can try to move them to our outpost, but even if they agree, we will have to escort them. If they agree, our scouts will escort them to our outpost safely. Uh, we had to try some survivors, but unfortunately not all saw the sense when we proposed to move them back. Maybe they can recover over time. They packed their meager belongings set off with us. I'm not sure that's an RNG thing. Healthcare mechanism... doesn't that... Uh, that just means infirmaries will employ fewer people. I need steel. Safe route. Cool. Head to the next one. Or you have to wait on steel again. Okay, that's now out of supplies. Or, or stuff within range. Yeah. 24 hour shift must have ended. Hey yo, temperature. Well, that still needs that. But I think I can turn the heater off there, and there, and there, at 40. That sounds good. Uh, the automaton, automatons, is in the, uh, and the only reason I know this is because we just did it, but it's in this. Uh, it's underneath the factory. Let's do healthcare insulation and then bother with the, uh... Alright, the caves might be a shelter of wild animals, but it is possible that some people hid here. Anyway, we have weapons with us. So we'll explore. Uh, in the caves we find frozen human corpses torn apart by wild animals. By the bodies we found boxes with documents containing the results of some scientific research we cannot comprehend. There's no trace of animals and there's nothing of interest for us here. So we'll take what resources were left and we'll check out the station ruins. You guys are escorting the people back. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and build the safe route. Then I think you can just head back. So the safe route is now built. Hey, -o. We confirm that a safe route between our settlements has been successfully established. It will allow us to quickly respond to emergencies and give us the much needed sense of stability. From now on, we'll be sending you shipments of raw food every other day. We hope this route will benefit both of our peoples greatly. So I actually get food every other day, raw food every other day. Right, you guys, foreign engineers, fine. Yeah, I forget. Yeah, rela relations is neutral. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll win or lose, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> What's up, Damalia? Never mind. Just being, imagine being on that call. What's up? Never mind. Oh, okay. Everyone, make everyone loyal in 12 days. Well, right, that'll certainly happen. Um, we're really grateful for all the work and supplies you provided. We'd like to ask you to solve an issue, though. Your people are disturbed by the sight of our dead, uh, whose frozen bodies are stored to compost them later. They'll, they want to build a cemetery and bury them, like in the old times. That is not our way. We want to respect the wishes of our dead to be returned to the circle of life, not trapped in the permafrost forever. Will you help prepare a positing pit for them um, so I can help them hot springs will be pleased I don't need hope to rise slightly uh, well I didn't name it but I asked for help naming it and the answer was decided on Tamalia I need steel you're infangled steel And wood, for that matter. Alright. That's now done. Oh. <laughs> wrong button. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Yeah, that's basically what I've done. You guys want... Okay, that's everything that you guys wanted. Compositing pitch needs wood. Infrastructure repairs. Uh, I don't have the people. I will have the people soon. Because they're going to get here. Must have propaganda. <laughs> Alright, so we've got people. No one's homeless. There goes a the shipment out. Alright, we've got all kinds of stuff going on. Okay. You found wood. You found steel. Thick snow covers the broken walls and collapsed roof. Only masked with the old scientific equipment rises above them. What raw materials we could still find here are not worth the effort of wrenching them from under the ice. I'm gonna get 16 text messages because I got a picture of a cute kid. Steel bridge. Far ahead, we can see the elegant steel bridge that we remember well from before the great storm. I'm gonna get 18 million text messages now. You guys are now here. That's right, you escorted people. Go get obnoxiously close to uh, New London. I did explore the ghost ship. And I took the food, which will probably poison me somehow. Uh, 
That's just the most adorable child I've ever seen. You guys are doing nothing, so I disbanded the... Okay, you guys need helping hands. Three. Uh, we know you have your own problems, but we have no one else to turn to. A disease is spreading among our people, and some of them will die if they don't get medical help that we can't provide. They would risk traveling to your settlement if you agreed to cure them in exchange for your help. They are willing to stay and work for you. They're great workers, more than willing to pull their weight after they recover. So, it's going to please them, uh, and we just have to take care of the gravely ill. Oh my, we have a lot of sick people. Get into their infirmary. I can actually get two infirmaries. Do I have the engineers for that? Uh, scratch that. Dismantle these. Quickly, please. Oh, many much sick people. Dismantle faster, please. Don't go to work. Dismantle. I think infirmaries can treat 10 people. There we go. Alright, that's gonna help tend to some of the ill. Uh, on this bridge, we came across the first automaton we saw in our lives. Now we meet here a group of workers from New London. Eh, bodes well. Um, Alright, workers are busy cutting pieces off the bridge structure. When we try talking to them, they rebuff us angrily and tell us to leave or else. We can leave and let them work. Uh, if we prevail, the bridge will remain intact, or we can chase them away. I don't want people to die, but alternatively... I want the bridge. Uh, we managed to defend the iconic bridge. But I fe felt like we could cross the bridge, and we can't. So, there you go. Alright, uh... Let's get them this. <laughs> Tons of steel being used. I don't know. I don't know if it's the right call or not, but... All right, now what do you guys want? You want help access to the coal hold. You also want to, for me to help improve the heating. Now coal is fine, steel is where things get sketchy. Because I don't have any. Uh, sir, our people made a disturbing discovery. While preparing a place for the gathering post, they followed a path trodden in the snow, which led them deeper into the frozen forest. They found a clearing with about 20 graves. On one of them lies a captain's hat. Our people think that the ship's crew is buried here, presumably by the locals. I'm just gonna make them happy. Uh, let's uh, not speak of this matter. What am I waiting on? Waiting on anything good? Let's get the cookhouse installation. Need steel badly. More sick beds. I will open a new infirmary. Right. Actually, I might just do that. Uh, hang on, I've got a plan. I'm going to do this like that. That way I can build a new thing here. Uh, a man assigned to an emergency shift has refused to work. He said that he's already worn out and he doesn't want to end up dead like one of his friends. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Oh, wow. You really threw a hissy, though, didn't you? Got this butt ugly, uh... I wonder if I'm in range of that heater. Build a little alleyway there. What did I learn about what? I guess I kept 
rambling on too long. I've got engineers all doing engineery things. Hmm. Wish I could have more engineers. Here, I'll just none that. Just dismantle that in the wood. Hey -o. Okay, now this does not treat this. Which is unfortunate. Hang on, can I? I need to build it like right here, but I don't know that that's an actual spot. But it might just be too close to the other one. Okay, we did find some wood. Searching the area, we stumble upon a door handle sticking out from under the snow. Soon we dig out the door and see the plaque attached to it. To all scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. That's all that's left of the shelter. But we see the deep fracture. That bodes well. Oh, I don't remember what you learned from that. Uh, your engineers found out that someone sabotaged one of our main pumps heating the hothouses. Some crops were lost, and it will take at least a day to resume food production. We believe this to be the do doing of New London or their sympathizers. We are anxious that if they do this again and cripple our f the food production, we might starve. To prevent this, we should work together even closer than before. So it set up joint watches. I don't want them to be happy, apparently. That's the plan. South? Yeah, this is the other... I will send one of them south because there is there's the uh the coal place which apparently i need to find soon uh here up access the coal hold joint watch done i'm now out of s supplies oh uh, I not completed the cookhouse installation? I have not. Also, how are people hungry? There's 44 food rations. S scale? No idea. I think I did one thing that upset them. Wood and steel. Actually, almost full on. Alright, the roof dome collapsed a long time ago, probably under the weight of the snow, allowing the Arctic climate to complete the work of destruction. The great storm took the rest, but there's some goods. Oh, there's a good station. Probably people at the good station, but oh well. Actually, full of. Coal. There, that should enable that to run again. Do that. 50% more supplies. Uh, I need wood. I do have 50 wood coming in. Uh, sir, one of our people in hot springs have died, and the locals want to use his body as crop fertilizer, just like they do with their own dead. I have one of his friends on the line. They want to decompose Frank. Ah. What are we going to do with it? You may know what we're going to do with it. Uh, we've established that this crevice extends beyond the ice sheet, deep into the rock. I don't think... Alright, I need to go north to the winter home ruins. Day 15 hours. Yeesh. Shipments reached hot springs. Yeah. Uh, I'll address this right now. I've got heaters running. What exactly do you expect me to do? 
Uh, we've managed to gain access to the coal hold. In the process, your people found the registry containing our sentences. Most of our people were convicted for minor offenses under new harsh laws intended to raise cheap labor. But it turns out there are also arsonists and murderers among us. The registry all contains no names, just prisoner numbers, but we think it's fortunate. We can give everyone a new life in this new world, and to this end, we ask you to destroy the registry. Um, yeah, forget, forget. Why not? I, I did, I did, I did one thing that displeased Hot Springs. I built an infirmary. Okay, let's see. Mainly because I need wood. And then I'll actually do that. And I will send comfortable housing. Get these guys to work. Food. Whatever the warehouse contains does not belong to us, but, well, it no longer belongs to anybody, so we broke into it. As expected, we found some canned food and frozen meat inside. Both will be certainly handy. There's an isolated camp. In the middle of nowhere, we find a small settlement which resembles a makeshift detention camp. That bodes well. Actually got all kinds of incoming supplies from different people. Mainly a lot of wood. People should be eating now. Nine days worth of coal, so that's good. Uh, now that the first improvements are complete, let's build something that should benefit both our settlements, establishing a safe route. Start sending me wood. Oh. Well, I do want... I want wood so I can keep taking care of these guys. So I am going to continue this. Send me more wood. I'll upgrade their depot. I need <laughs> lots of supplies for that. There it goes. Shipments reach the hot springs. All kinds of shipments arrive. Wood! We have wood! Well, let's spend a little bit of that. Because it's currently freezing over there. Uh, we need your help. We know that we're asking a lot, but we need better housing. These huts we're living in now are too crowded. Don't hold the heat in. Plus, some of us want to live separately from others. We used to think that we could trust each other, but we were proven wrong. That's morbid. Um, we'll build separate quarters eventually, I suppose. Uh, let's explore the isolated camp. After we took a closer look, it turned out that this is a quarantine center belonging to New London. Apparently our former home was affected by some epidemic that we, they tried to suppress. And they put the infected here, far from the healthy population. We decided to steer clear of this place before the guards noticed our presence. Here, you send over here to the snow rover. I don't think you can find anything there, but... Oh, please take my money, sir. I'm sorry. Hang on. Someone commented on Twitch, but I can't actually see the silly, um... You won't... Uh, you are not asking your friends for free resources? No, because I don't... It uses up their favor, and I was trying to keep that high. I could. Oh, that's, uh... We need a lot of workers. I don't want to... If I exhaust your favor... Nine days to the confrontation. Here, you... We'll come back to you. Let's get you the helping hands. Oh, can I? Okay, well, send me... What could I use? My favor is high, so... I could just 
default ask for wood, so I will. Uh, the heating and healthcare in our settlement have improved, but your medics say that malnutrition is causing May to fall ill. We don't have much, but we've managed to survive on our own, yet perhaps it's time to ask for help. We don't do this lightly, we don't want to use you. Uh... So, maybe we could talk to them? We'll send you... Some food, I think. I'm a little concerned that you'll go all, like, ham on my food place, but I'm going to keep you nice and happy. Uh, need, need steel. Also full up on coal. I think I've already tried this. Oh no, I can't. Cool. So I can... I can ask for wood twice, apparently. I don't need workers currently. Got 36 people doing nothing. All right, let's do you for coal. Please forgive all the dinglings in the background. I might need that for food rations. All right. Explore, you found some steel, so the frozen corpse of the driver's still inside. Such rovers were used to scout ahead of expeditions, but never alone. It's too dangerous to travel in the frost lands in such a small craft. This means that some convoy has passed here a long time ago, probably in a hurry. Otherwise, they'd have taken the time, taken the bite to, 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 to bury it. I can, I can read. Let's go check out this trailer wreck. They're almost to the winter home ruins. All right. Uh, those who managed to flee left long ago, and we have no idea what happened to them, apart from some of the evacuated children who found shelter in New London. Winterhome has become a monument to the human ignorance and hubris, and its destruction is being completed by nature. The great storm covered the ruins with snow and ice. Only the regular patterns of mounds and depressions reminds us that this white shroud covers the work of human hands. Let's go check out the children's mine. Mainly because I need to get talking to them, because I have eight days left. Also, my Twitch... My Twitch, um... Chat is now. And hello, as well, to the please take my money, sir. I don't think I said hello, ever. I could do this, except I don't have any wood. I need steel. I need so much steel. How are we looking with you guys? You're now friendly. I've got 150 steel. Let's swap over to this. Let's do that and then make you guys a little bit smidge on the discontented side. Uh, it's not your problem that since we now work together, we thought you might want to have some say. Some of our people, men we trusted, were exposed as murderers. We don't want them among us, obviously, but we've known them for a long time, and we feel that they deserve at least a chance of survival. They agreed to leave in peace if we give them some gear and supplies that will make their exile less like a death sentence. Uh, certainly. Why not? Send a major shipment of food rations. Mercy me. I need, uh, cores. Now, what do I need for this? More wood. Don't I need... 
Yeah, I do. I don't know why I wasn't doing that. Mainly because I need wood. Alright, so this... Let's do that. I need wood. So let's trade resources for wood. Supplies for the exiled. Here. I need food, too. Um... Do the infirmary as well. Let's get some wood. All right, children of mine. We go inside. Turns out that the mining corridor corridors reaching deep under the permafrost give shelter to dozens of children, accompanied by a handful of old and frail people. The mining machines broke long ago. Now their coal is being extracted by kids whose small stature allows them to traverse the tunnels easily. The children are proud that they managed on their own and reject our suggestion to move. We can help them by improving their conditions of blah, blah, blah. Here. You go ahead and, and come back with whatever gear that you've got. Alright, I do have 50 wood and 75 wood. A heavy freight trailer stuck in an ice crevice. Such vehicles used to be hauled by land dreadnoughts. So we'll take the resources. That's actually the entire line of stuff over here. So I'm going to send them back as well. With some resources that they've collected. Construction team's there, but I don't have the resources for that at all. Get me one more... Once that goes up to four, I'll switch it back to steel, because I currently have none. Get it up to four. There you go. Yeah, I still can't do anything about that. Right. Hope's good. Hope's good to go. Temperature's going to dump. Ah. Wait, if I can get that there, I can build one here. Probably build another infirmary eventually. That's a slippery slope question. Not that I have any problem with the question, but... Let's turn on the heater back there so it's not freezing anymore. Seven days worth of coal. Okay. Yeah. Um, our medical staff reports from shipwreck camp. These people are hardened and skilled workers. Their bodies carry numerous scars from injuries suffered while working in dangerous and sometimes toxic conditions. Nevertheless, they seem surprisingly healthy, although many of them currently suffer from ma various maladies caused by malnutrition and bad living conditions. Are you guys loyal yet? No, you're just friendly. Seems you want steel. Alright, so you're back. Send you here. Then I think that's all the... Right. Build your safe route. Please report everything went to plan. I love how the safe route goes over the mountain. Oh, I need a construction crew for the mine. Got it. Thanks. Yep. Go. guys want steel. You want steel. Of course you want steel. Too much to ask for. Uh, sir, while protecting the safe route, or pros prospecting the safe route to shipwreck camp, one of our people almost fell into a hidden crevice. We checked the surroundings and fortunately discovered that the whole area is full of such dangers. We could build bridges over them. I would, I would like to do secure the route. Hang on. I'm just gonna do a, uh, load the autosave. I 
don't want. I want to build the thing. I want to build the bridges. But I think I need steel for it. Oh, that's morbidly far back. Okay. I have to remember what I've done. I don't think I did a whole lot of in anything interesting. Life got cold. Um, I did this. I don't remember what I, don't remember what I did. I know I did that. Let's do a research on the houses, I guess. Nope, can't do that. Don't have the. Yeah, I need to do the construction team for the mine. I know I did that. Do that. Mild frostbite, so it became. Oh. Okay. Tell you what I could use from these guys, but the favor might not be high enough. I need the engineers. They've returned to the city. I know that I went around and sent them back here. It's like, hey, welcome back. Get lost. Could use improved heaters. I want to do that. We'll do that for more wood, though. I built that, and then I sent them here. And all I know is, until I've got like a ton of steel, don't do anything. Going good. So please take my money, sir. <laughs> Actually gave me the great advice of, why aren't you taking the roads? Weirdos. Build a trading depot. There we go. With six days left. Hope you guys want. Alright. Thank you for establishing the trading depot. Now we'll be able to help each other be. How did you guys get down to... I bet people got sick. People must have gotten gravely ill and got treated and got better. Alright. I'm going to wait for... Some supplies. Give me wood. What do you want? Food rations? Okay. You guys want steel. I don't think I can send you anywhere else. I cannot. So. Disband and give me the wood. I just want you guys to be loyal, but I need to build the new pumps. Darn it all, give me the stinking steel. About to make them real discontent. Inconvenient truth. Our team in Hot Springs report that repairing the damage from the geyser eruption, they found out that we are most likely responsible. I need to come clean and apologize. Uh so that they will be pleased because I don't want them to be not pe pleased, peased. I need to send them the new pumps as well. 
And I need stinking, stinking, no good steel. Improved heaters. All right, how are we doing on? That's unnecessary. Yeah, there you go. Well, coal's not really an issue. Um, you're fine. I mean, you're not fine. You're currently kind of chilly, just a smidge on the on the nippy side. I'd like that constant income of wood, if possible, please. I want to get to 150. I don't know how much it needs, so I'm just going to make sure that I have some steel. Uh, we are, we're biting our tongues, but we can no longer remain silent. All the changes you've brought to our agriculture, all this technology we can't understand or even use, turned my people into cheap labor for you. Our crops now are completely dependent on the pumps you've installed. We toil knee deep in dirt while your people chill around the machines. They won't even hear a about teaching us how to use and maintain them, calling us careless idiots. This has to change. Um, we will teach you. Be loyal! Yay! Okay. So, you guys are also loyal. I need to send stuff here. But before we do that, I need to build this. Secure the route. I don't know if there's any huge deals from that, but I want to be better safe than sorry. Now, let's go fix your homes. I need to clear up some engineers. That'll do that. <laughs> go! Four sick absences. <laughs> Build that safe route. Carry on. Head back. Safe route's now established. So now we should get a steady income of wood. Great news! I don't need resources for coal. I need resources for wood. Gimme. Have four days to get them loyal. That's great. Uh, your watchman caught an old man attempting to clog the steam pipes. Uh, let's keep him, please, and let him go. Even though I'm pretty sure he flips out and does it again, but. Just letting time progress here. Some of the shipments have reached the children's mind. Uh, we thank you for the medics you sent to help with our health care. There are still much more sick kids than beds, and we notice that your youngest, at that the youngest, unfortunately, wind up at the end of the queue. You could tell your medics to start with the more severely sick, otherwise the kids will organize themselves. Uh, let them organize themselves, and children's minds will be pleased. All right, um, now, they want, what else? Mining tools? So they want wood, wood, wood. More stupid wood. Uh. Send that. That's all the steel that I've got. Okay. Right. Timer's still got five days left itself, so... Again, I'm still befuddled as to why we're doing that. They can just camp out. You guys found steel. Explored the rusting hulk. Uh, we got some steel from it. Drying springs. Ooh. Maybe there'll be animals around it or something. Oh, 
There it is. Uh, your machines are scary and they do not belong in our settlement, but since they are here, we're grateful that we can use them. Your people were a bit gruff initially since we had so many questions and trouble with understanding the answers, but after a while, we got it. Thanks to your help, there's nothing more to improve for now. The knowledge that we can now manage the machinery, even if you decide to leave Hot Springs one day, is comforting. hey -o. Green Thumb Achievement. What else do you guys want? Mining tools. Done. Need steel, though. I don't need your coal. I just need you loyal. Really don't need your coal. Really, really don't. Coal is actually full again. Uh, we have grave news. The old man, whom we decided together decided to let go, repeated a sabotage attempt. Um, whoops. Not that I'm having an issue with coal. Exactly. That's. There must be the freshwater springs we found a group of survivors before the great storm. The unfrozen part of the pond has shrunk considerably. There's nothing to do here. Grove of bones. Let's check out the grove of bones. Right, what else do you guys want? We want proper houses. I have a small riot. Um... Die, you'll be fine. However, let's uh, extend the range. All right. You actually hear the uh, rioting. They're throwing a, a small, mild fit. I'm not too happy. What else do you want? Proper houses? Oh, did I never send that? Done. Coal mines rebuilt? It's done. I have no wood or steel now, which is the issue. Need steel. Oh, it's getting colder. Yeah, I need these to be hotter now. Cold. Again. Yes. Uh, after the coal mine was rebuilt, the amount of work needed to extract coal fell radically. Some children have nothing to do and are wandering aimlessly or playing the whole day. Working kids are envious of that and attempt to take away their food, claiming that they don't deserve it. We don't know what to do about that. There's clearly... You don't work, you don't eat salmon around here. Build and man a cookhouse. Oh, they'll be displeased. Take unemployed children to hot springs. Children's mind will do nothing. Children's mind will be pleased. Apparently we're not going to do anything. Because, because we want you to be happy. Here. Send me wood. I need steel. Okay. There was some commotion among the kids, and it took us a while to sort it out, but we found that the three, ch the three children were missing. Other kids said they went to play, but nobody has seen them for at least a day. Finally, one child admitted that they sneaked into the mine. We have to find them quickly. Your people formed a rescue party, but they don't know this mine as well as the kids. A few of the bigger boys offered to guide them. Uh, let's save them together. Uh, numerous human bones lie scattered among the stumps of frozen trees. Most of them have tooth marks left, probably by starving wild animals. We found some wood, and that's all the everything. Head on back. Wood is good. Uh, after rebuilding our coal mine, we can think about connecting our settlements with a safe route. Okay. 
head to the ice plane. I don't exactly have the wood or steel to do that yet, but... more with the temperature that at least gets these homes to cold. Uh, our team report that they found the lost kids near collapsed collapse shaft almost immediately. They were hungry, thirsty, and scared, but otherwise unharmed because they're kids. And are they loyal? Uh, yeah. Cool. I do need... I, I don't even need... I don't need this. I don't need you to send me coal. I've got plenty of it. Come back here. <laughs> I need steel and wood. That's what I need. Have these been swapped to the heating level of two? There we go. Yeah. Alright, can I ask you for anything? What can I ask you for? Coal, coal, workers. I actually don't need any of that. So, never mind. Okay, switch to that. Two. Two days. Well, two days, 17 hours, so basically three days. Uh, as you might have noticed, coal shipments from children mines are uneven. This isn't due to any technical difficulty. Some kids just can't focus. They sometimes play all day and work just a couple of hours. Should we try to make them keep working, organize their time, or let them plan their time? Because apparently we're letting... I think he died. I think he got blown up in the thing. He either died or he got banished, one of the two. Okay. Food. Thomas needs food badly. Scouts have returned. There's nowhere else to go, so they can be disbanded as well. A lot less so city building in this DLC. Not a whole lot to. Although I've done everything, it's kind of like, eh. That's up to four. That can go back. That's that. Do your sawmill. Give me wood. Houses! Steel. <laughs> Not particularly shocked either. Actual houses, look at that. Straight up houses instead of a bunkhouse. I feel like I've spoiled them slightly. Alright. The fire has seriously damaged many buildings. There was a fire. Uh, and we are now sure that it was arson. We didn't... We don't know who did it or why, but we'll find out and deal with them. This kind of stupid... Mm, serves no one, and we won't let it happen again. We have to ask you for resources to repair the damage. We could do much more with some proper planning and engineering. It will help you rebuild. Why not? 
I'll help you rebuild. Because you'll send me wood. And wood is good. Further help with the rebuilding. You want a lot of steel. And engineers, whom I don't have readily available because no one will give me engineers. Anyway. We actually don't have any sick people currently. I'll dismantle that. Although I still need the steel, but... Seems that we are... Okay, well, of course, all of a sudden we have more sick people. That checks out. Ooh. Yay, it's warming up. It's a brisk negative 58 outside. Good day, people. Time oh. To get busy. It's a transport. Don't know what's in it. Can't imagine they're particularly thrilled. What? Uh, a large group of people is heading to our city from New London. We don't know their intentions, but we must assume that it's the vanguard of the punitive expedition. The moment of truth is coming. This will be the test of our resolve. Okay. Oh, uh, food. Food problems. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the Twitch follow worked. Well, thank you very much. Reeducated. Could read. Tiny, tiny font. Thank you very much. Also, it works again. That's exciting. If that's a nuke in that convoy. Uh, they're two hours away. Hang on. They're only 39 minutes away, but I want my houses built. Mainly because I started the project and I want to want it to be done. Those poor people. We must help them. They're unwell. They're starving. But I don't have a ton of food. Trouble in New London. That's no punitive expedition. These are ordinary people. Their delegates are here to ask for help. We fled the hunger and chaos of New London. Everything is falling apart there. It's because I'm no longer in charge. Healthcare, the coal supply, and even the generator. The administration just argues over what to do and no decisions are made because I'm not there. Help us please. You're our only hope. Some of our people recognizing their friends and relatives among the refugees are embracing them and asking to take them. Okay. Get the house built. Is there engineers? There are engineers. Good, because now I need to build... I need to build more infirmaries. Outpost 11. We heard some people from our city have reached you. What they tell you is mostly true. We lost some crops, had a food shortage, used sawdust, had labor shortages, then a generator malfunction, and things got out of control. To prevent panic, we tried to cover up the scale of the crisis. That's why we didn't tell you. We urgently need resources and people. Our relations weren't good recently, but please, can you help us? New London can't fall. Now I have to send you more stuff. Oh, I have to consult. New London is collapsing, and we don't have much time to reach a decision before we do it. We can consult with other settlements, and we should listen to our people. What we do now will change the future, not only for us, but for people in the Frostland. Oh, if I choose to... Okay. Let's communicate. Can you help us with New London? I guess. All those wealthy New Londoners are scum. No offense, pal. You're different. But they can go to somewhere with their generators and fancy houses. They grew up too big, and the world will cut them down. If you help them, they'll only stab you in the back. Mark my words. In the end, each of us should stand or fall on their own. We say, let New London... F <laughs> let New London lull. Let New London fall, but we owe you and will help you whatever you do. Thanks. Uh, never mind. And farewell. No. Never mind. Could you imagine hanging up the phone and getting another call and being like, what? Oh, wrong button. Can you support us against New London? We don't know 
much of New London, but it seems to us that they unlike you. Its people fail to adapt to the changed world. If they let their city fall, they will strengthen your ranks and learn your ways. If you let their city fall. If you help them instead, your people might yet become assimilated by them. The nature is our ultimate judge, and it's useless to dispute her rulings. But whatever you decide, we won't deny you help if you ask for it. Thanks. Um, and I have to consult with the children's mine. We're saddened to hear about the plight of New London. It reminds us of the tragic fate of Winterhome. We should try to help them. Some of our children might have relatives there. If we leave them to their fate, many will die, and this world saw too much of death already. The decision is yours, but whether you choose to save New London or not, we'll help you as much as we can. We must stand together, or we'll all freeze alone. Never mind. Okay. Can we get those houses built? We do have... We've got ten hours. How quickly the mood changes. We were ready to fight New London. Now many want to help despite the huge cost. After all, people still have friends and relatives there. On the other hand, if we let New London fall, we could take full control of it. Although many of its inhabitants would die, we'd also have to prepare for a massive wave of refugees. Hmm. I'll probably help them. Mainly because I was in charge of that city, and I've spent a large amount of time making sure that it didn't crumble. should treat the rest of the sick. There we go. Oh, right. I need to answer them. We have an answer. You will have to send people and resources to New London. You'll have to prepare for a wave of refugees. We can't endure much longer. Hear us out. We beg you. We treated you badly, misled you, and we were wrong. Although we still believe we are one people, we will respect your autonomy, autonomy if you save our city. If you refuse, many will die, but many more will flee to your outposts and every other settlement they can get to. You can't possibly accommodate them all. So many lives are at stake. I would probably... What do you guys think? Should I save them? Should I not? I'll wait a second for an answer. I did, I did delete a lot of food production in the end. That's right, I forgot I did that. I don't know that what I do has any impact on this. Probably something else will happen. Save him because it's easier. We will save you. Alright, New London's economy is in shambles, so we will need a lot of coal to keep them warm. Due to the cold... A lot of their workers are sick, which means that our people will have to replace them. Infirmaries will ha heal the gravely ill, but to build them, we need to send steel and steam cores. Their food economy is stretched to the maximum since the beginning, so a shipment of food rations will be a great aid. We rejoice the news that you decide to help New London after so much death. Every saved life is all the more precious. We shall double our efforts and deliver the coal shipment for them. You don't need to trouble yourself with it. Thanks. Your decision to preserve the bigger and more advanced society will affect us all. For good or ill, only time will tell. We believe that if we exert ourselves, we can take care of the food shipment. Thanks. We've heard you chose to spare the... That's probably rude, so I'm not going to say it. Too bad, but it's your choice, as we said. Alas, we too will have to face its consequences. We'll send them the workers they need to get on their good side and to keep an eye on them. We know a thing or two about generators having built a few, so we'll take a look at theirs. Cool beans. So, workers are now sent. Food is sent. Coal is sent. Now we just need to look at the shipment of building materials. Whoa. Thomas needs steel. The demented Dutchman said deny them, and your answer was perfect with the name, and I appreciate it. So I only need to send the steel and the steam cores. Alright, we're taking care of that. Alright. The big shipment of coal you sent us is essential for our survival. The generator is acting up even on the lowest settings, and many buildings don't get enough heat. Now we can do something to keep our people warm and healthy. 
<laughs> I don't like you. They need how much steel? 250. So a whole thing of steel. Snag a resource deep pot. There we go. Don't know that I'll need to use that, but. I need wood. Of course I need wood. Hey, can you send me some wood? Thanks. Also, scratch that. Further help with the rebuilding. I've got four days to save New London. I want the wood to do the this so that I can do the something. What do I want to do? It doesn't matter. Too late. I already sent the resources. They would have let me starve. Uh, sending us the food rations. You've accomplished more than just saving us from starvation. You've rekindled hope among our people. They're still hungry, but we know what it took to deliver this much, and we appreciate it a lot. We're good, because I didn't have it. That's cold. I actually probably could have given them whatever coal they needed. Extensions. I need food now. Uh, the workers you've sent us are a great help. Nearly all of our facilities are understaffed. Many of our workers are sick and even more weakened by hunger. You people give us hope that there's still a chance. Yeah, now you want an obnoxious amount of steel. Alright, you've helped us greatly now. I can admit that without your support we would have all died one by one within a few months, most likely. And what's more, you decide to trust us even when some of us betrayed this trust. For now, there's nothing we can ask you to do. Cool beans. I got another achievement, too. Um, I just need food. That's the big thing, currently. Okay, I've got the 250 steel... food rations coming from hot springs so that's good also my favor is high and I communicate and ask them for some food that should enable me to feed the hungry with little issues Once I get to... Speaker is still too happy. <laughs> Once I get to 300 steel... We'll switch to... Uh... Hey, yo! This defaulted to two, didn't it? Great. Oh, I remember why. I wanted the wood so that I could do the straddle carriers and the steam lorries. But I need so much. Alright, now I just, uh,. Wait for my five steam cores. Not enough propaganda in this place. <laughs> okay. 
Probably got the last ration bar. That's exactly it. Yeah, we're already at three. Yeah, we're fine. Four. There it is. No problem at all. There you go, you lovely poo heads. And it's cold again. Eat, dude. There's 107 food rations, you moron. How close is it? Go. They are better at being an evil dictator than I am. We did it. New London is no longer in danger of collapse. It was a trying time for all, full of strife and discord. But that's behind us now, despite all the misunderstandings and unnecessary grudges, we saw past our differences and lent a helping hand to those in need. The last city on Earth remains the best hope of mankind, but now long... But how long will its people remember the lesson that it... That it was discord? Not the great... St oh. Uh, but how long will its people remember the lesson that it was discord? Not the great storm that turned out to be the ultimate threat. Ta-da! We have prevailed. I don't know if we get a cool time lapse for this or not, but it won't be near as neat because I didn't build and do as much. Oh yeah, you do. And this is a, uh... A time lapse of our group, not something random, which I didn't realize, I don't think. Because there popped up all the houses on the left. Or the tents. I became Demolio. <laughs> That's funny. Waiting for the tents to swip. There they go. It is pretty neat. Territories of New London. Hey, hang on. How come it isn't United Terri Territories of... 1916. Oh, that's gotta be the hint for the next one. It actually gave the, uh... Thank you for playing Frostpunk, giving us your support. We hope it was thrilling. Uh, it's thrilling a ride for you as it was for us. Moving both the heart and the mind... We hope to see you around for the net new endeavors we're setting off to make. Much love the Frostpunk team. I wonder if the 1916 is, is a hint for what they'll do next. Hmm. That's... Because it definitely had the end date. Like the new t United Territories of New London. And then it ended. So I don't know if we were no longer United Territories of New London or if something else happened. I don't know. Anyway. That is the edge... Uh, we're on the edge, DLC. Probably next we'll do the... the last autumn I have never beaten. Yeah, we're the end of the settlement. I don't know. I have no idea. That's that's fascinating. Is what that is. That's curious. Um, probably do the last autumn. Then we'll do the arcs, the refugees, and the fall of winter home. Oh, yeah. Well, the game doesn't have any, uh, 
combat in it, so that it makes sense. I appreciate everybody watching. I hope that you have a very enjoyable evening. I don't know if there will be a stream Monday or not. Still getting that exact schedule worked out. But um, I hope that you have a great evening, and thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.